I'm sorry for the quality of this clip. I don't have my camera here, so <sighs> I can't keep calm. Like I'm literally eager and you know in a in a hurry to share this testimony to everybody because that was a promise I made when I was praying for this. This is <sighs> so I've had so many experiences like I've had many experiences where I just ask God for certain things and it just comes true. And I'm like, okay, maybe it's God, maybe it's not God. I know it's God. Many times I acknowledge that it is God. But some other times I'm just doubting, can it be coincidental? What's... Because who am I as in... Who I be? You get it? The whole God of heaven will pay attention to me. But many times when I certain things happen i'm like god loves a lot of people but he may not love me that much you understand where people are you know ranting about how god loves them and all that they see a small iota of that in my heart that mm, why would he love me so much because i feel so undeserving when things like this happen <clears throat> okay let me tell you guys what happened so my laptop screen stopped working for some reasons i don't even know why it was working one night the next morning it was not working but i could still connect a cable hdmi to my tv or any monitor and it will be able to i'll be able to work on it just that it has to be power supply every time yeah so i started editing on my phone but i remember when it happened i was so downcasted like i i felt so broken because i was like another issue again because just like a month before then the battery had issue and i had to go and change the issue this is a laptop that is just a year old so i felt this thing is stressing me too much and i had some work on day that i was already editing almost done will i start over all over again anyways i was able to finish up the work because i connected it to a larger screen but most times i have to be home because i can't carry a monitor it was just a lot of complexity so i, I started editing on my phone so <clears throat> <sighs> When it happened, because of how broken I was, I was like, God, I, I'm not spending any money. I'm not spending any money on this laptop. I don't want to spend any money on this laptop. I'm just, I'm tired. You have to heal this laptop. And then I, I think that evening or the next morning, there was a um, hallelujah challenge. And there was a someone around healing and all that. Even when people are praying for physical healing i was thanking god okay i'm in sound health my people are in sound health but you see this laptop it needs healing it needs it needs healing balm of gilead it needs the resurrection power to breathe life into it so i prayed i prayed immediately it happened i checked nothing happened the next morning after hallelujah challenge i went to check again nothing then but i kept praying I, and my prayer was like god if you if you do this i'll be very grateful i truly believe you can do this but if you don't do it um just like the uh, mesa shedrach and abegnego you are still god all the same it doesn't even it doesn't change who you are i believe you can do it but if you choose not to do it it doesn't change who you are so i just put my mind at ease i started editing on my phone and every now and then i'll go and carry it i'll pray and you know try to put it on the screen won't come on even up until yesterday i had work to transfer from my uh, camera to the system because i didn't have enough space on my phone so i did that through hdmi cable connected to a monitor and i was able to you know transfer the work to my phone and vice versa but this just to tell you that this screen has not been working some about a week ago i was discussing with my husband that this laptop i prayed healing on it but it was not healed it's still not coming on because it's i think it's only going to check again it's still not coming on but i prayed that god will heal this but if god doesn't heal it well no problem i've prayed i've had faith god doesn't heal it he knows better and it was like here is that even it may not even be him healing it the way i am expecting the healing that it may be that um, when i go to repair it he will make it easier for me you get it so but my original prayer is god i don't want to spend a dime on this laptop i don't want to spend a dime on this laptop even if i go to repair it, I'm, i don't want to spend money on it 
so this morning i went to the repairer the generator was on in their shop so they could not even hear me properly they couldn't hear me properly and uh, when i put on uh, I, I gave him the laptop he was trying to put it on then he said it's not coming i gave him the laptop and my hard drive that has been having issues he repaired it the last time i think he reconfigured it kind of so i told him that it didn't work the hard drive is still not opening so he thought i came to repair hard drive he didn't even hear the system part of it so when he was trying to put it on he now went to he, he said he didn't have um hdmi cable the no he said it's not coming on and i said it's, it's working that is the flex that has issue because the screen didn't break it's the flex that has issue that he should use hdmi cable he said he doesn't have he asked some people to go and bring and i said if i had known i would have brought my own hdmi cable he said no that apart from hdmi cable he doesn't have a monitor to even see what is happening that's when i was wondering why do you need a monitor it's the flex just change the flex that was what was in my mind then i was like no the screen is okay is this flex and all of that then he put it on and i saw hp on the screen like the screen came on and i was looking at it i was like this thing is working say yes uh, i should i should go inside and go and you know work, just work on it and all that I, I was like what if it happens again and i said as as if he be a man of god <laughs> now if he be a man of god uh, you know that phrase there was a way he put it sure so i went inside and i was just thinking god you know how you don't want to express so much because the last time i came and he, reconfigured my hard drive even though he didn't buy anything i had to pay him so i didn't want to like express my joy in such a way that or make him feel like he did something because he didn't do anything he just pressed the on button and it came on but he replied that if he be a man of god uh it will not he was mainly saying god has healed this and if except if he's not a man of god that's when it will have that issue again this is somebody that i don't even, i don't know okay so I put it on i turned it because the 360 laptop i turned it inside out i turned it over again i kept checking things and thanking god in my heart man i could not even keep it to myself when i went inside i told the the man that was like uh, asking about the laptop and what's the issue and all that i told him god has healed it though this is what happened this is how i prayed it didn't happen and i was like god okay well, i will take my faith that way if you don't heal it because i know you can heal it if you don't heal it i'm just going to take it to a repairer today then we started some conversation around faith and all that <clears throat> i went back to the place i bought it because i needed to buy another hard drive even the hard drive that i told him was having issue he just put it on and it came on and i was like it's working i'm like this thing didn't come on yesterday it didn't come on sorry it didn't come on this morning when i was trying to transfer the files <sighs> god is wonderful guys if i was doubting in my heart of heart before that i, I know I'm, i've been a christian and I, I trust god and this is not even the first time i'm having this kind of supernatural experience but this is just exceptional because if there's still any iota of doubt in my heart that there is god that answers prayers that sees me and he sees you as well this is just to seal it up like nothing anybody can tell me this is too much for me to call it a coincidence this is just too much for me to call it a coincidence and i just came back to the office driving from um the repairer's place to the office i couldn't like i've been in tears i've just been <sighs> do you know what is worrying me i'm like god who am i like this me you are hearing me and you are you know acting according to what i asked you love me this much for what for as in oh thank you jesus like i feel like i called my husband he was busy i feel like shouting and telling everybody that god god is wonderful god is real not just that god is real he sees you he knows you he feels what you feel the other day you know people say uh, god is not emotional i was like my god is it feels my emotions oh. <laughs> oh my god oh my god thank you jesus one of the when i was praying one of the things i said was god if you do this i'm going to tell everybody like i'm going to testify everywhere i can testify and that's why i'm even making this video like i can't even keep this to myself like i just go back <laughs> i just go back
I can't keep it to myself. <sighs> Let this also be a confirmation for you that you're still doubting whether there's God or not. There are too many things. There are too many incidences. Too many confirmations. That's why God does miracles. So that if you are doubting in your heart whether there is God or there is no God, this is the sign that there is God. He just needs you to be closer to Him. He just needs you to be conscious of His presence. He just needs you to carry Him everywhere you go. To identify with Him. Hey. Now all I feel like is God, I don't want to do anything without you. Like, why am I stressing myself when I have a father? I think sometimes we view God with a lack mentality. Like, we pray to God as if He can't really do it. But right now, the way I'm feeling is, my God is a wealthy God. Like, <laughs> some of us grew up with parents that were not financially comfortable. We're not comfortable enough to provide all that we need. And we extend that uh, mentality, we extend that trauma to how we view God as a God that struggles to do things for us. No. My God is a wealthy God. He has it in abundance. He just needs you to come in alignment with Him. He needs you to come in alignment with Him. Even though He can force you to do things, He doesn't want to force you to do anything. He just wants you to be in, in tune with Him. To carry Him, prioritize Him, put Him first. Many of us, the first, when, when we have an issue, the first thing that comes to our mind is not telling God about it. No. It's not telling God about it. We have one father somewhere. We have uncles. We have, you know, those are the people that come to our mind. And I'm like, why is it that we have this big solution? God is a solution. We have this big solution as children of God. And we don't, we don't rate him. We don't rate him. That's just the truth. We don't see him the way he sees us. We don't see him as our father. Our Jehovah El Shaddai, all sufficient. He has everything. He can do anything. <sighs> Please be encouraged. Be encouraged. Be encouraged, brothers and sisters. There is God and He cares deeply about us. He knows, He feels, and He sees us. Thank you, Jesus. That's all I just want to say. Thank you, Lord.